Let's say you get a bird, he's on the roost, he's gobbling, you throw out a series of yelps, he flies down, you hear him hit the ground, you can kind of tell he's on the ground because the gobble sounds different. He gets closer to you, you hear him, he's further off, closer, further off. That's definitely a tom that's in a strutting zone and he's just going to go back and forth for a while. He's trying to call hens into him. Uh, you throw out some calls, he'll gobble, he'll answer everything you do, but he won't come your way. The best bet you can do in that situation is to go ahead and pull the calls, just sit quiet and wait, let him get a little bit frustrated. If the hens are going to come his direction, he's not going to come your way at that point anyways, most likely, so it doesn't do you any good to keep calling. And if he doesn't have hens come in his direction, there's a very good chance once he hears you go silent, he might get impatient and turn around and head your direction. So the best thing you can do at that point, cut the calls, just sit and wait and watch. You may resort after, you know, half an hour of silence, maybe start doing a little bit of leaf scratch and just make sure your eyes are open before you start moving. So hopefully that tom will head your way and before you know it, you'll be looking at a good shot. If you wait 30 or 40 minutes and you still haven't seen him at that point, go ahead and throw out another call. He was responsive before, see if you can get him to strike up again. If you hear him strike up and he's went a different direction, he's probably moving with a group of hens and you're going to need to come up with plan B, which would probably be repositioning and trying to get in front of that bird or coming back to the same zone that he was strutting in later on in the day. So hopefully this tip will help you out on how to work with that strutting zone Tom, how to get him out of that zone and head in your direction. If you guys like these videos, please subscribe. Any questions, comments, or other ideas that you may have to add to the discussion, please put them in the comments line. And as always, keep subscribing and we'll keep more videos coming for you.